Dave Kropinski here with Hoop Group. We're at Hoop Group Elite Camp Session 1. I'm sitting next to Benjamin Patil, uh, otherwise known as just Ben. Yep. And uh, he's here as a way of Ghana and uh, just came over uh, last year. Uh, ben, what was it like uh, coming over to the United States from Ghana? Um, it, was, it was a great change in my life since I, I used to play like, soccer, play volleyball, and didn't have any passion for basketball. But I love it because all my friends play the game. So it was like, I got a chance to come here and I was like, all right, do basketball then. And I saw that I love the game, like, I really love it. It's my passion right now. Like, I want to play to the highest level. So it's been a great change for me coming here. Now, it's a, it's a pretty unique story of how you got started with the game of basketball. How were you discovered? Um, I used to hourly play volleyball and like our volleyball court was on the basketball court. So right uh, after practice, after our volleyball practice, the basketball team practice. So the coach told me the way I was jumping, my technique, and he was like, man, you have height, you got to play basketball. And I was like, nah, I don't want to play. And he was like, nah, you can play. So he, like, a full week of practice, and I didn't even want to go anymore because it was hard. He was making me go suicide, everything, doing jump drills with me. But actually, I knew that doing basketball was helping me in my uh, volleyball. Because it was helping me get more jump and stuff in my volleyball, and I turned it out the game. Yeah, so a, lot of, a lot of players uh, go back and forth. Uh, Jay Williams, who was at Duke, he's also a hoop group alumni. He played both volleyball and basketball, so it's not uncommon. Uh, now you're here at, at Hoop Group Elite. Uh, this is definitely a lot different of an experience being at a basketball camp of this size and nature. Uh, what does it do to make you a better player? Um, to keep whatever the coaches is trying to tell us and go 100%, that is what everybody is telling me, and I do it. Like, even if the coach is telling you to throw the ball to the wall, do it 100%. Like, for him to see that you want to do it. Everything you go hard, that's how I'm going to get better. That's what I'm doing, and I'm really like, privileged to be at the league. Now you're banging against a lot of big bodies back and forth. You know, what does it do for you going against guys of your size, uh, some guys that are your skills, some guys that are you know, maybe even better than you? What does that do for you as a player with competition? Um, with that, it makes me know my weakest point. It makes me know what I need to improve on. It makes me get tough of people. It makes me uh, a lot because it gives me a lot because I – I might be a freshman going to a sophomore year, they might be seniors, but I don't back down to anybody. And they give me what, because they know a little bit, they play more here. And if I do something, they'll be like, oh, that's a good move, you gotta do this to it. I try it, if it works, this is good. If it doesn't, I was like, but I love playing with those big guys, and it's really good, it toughens me up. And it's really good. Being a big and uh, you know banging down low, uh, do you consider yourself more of a of a post up player, a face up player? What are some of your your greatest strengths? Um, back back home, they used to call me the utility player because I do everything, a little bit of everything. My main listen, I love to defense. I love to play defense. I rebound the ball. I block shot. I love to play defense. I got all my points from the bucket, like from rebounding. That's how I got my point. But I love to push up, I love to come out. So it depends where I get the ball at, but that's it. Now, growing up in Ghana, the number one sport is soccer. Uh, were there some basketball players now that, that you like to watch and, and model your game after? Uh, my, my favorite player, because I love defense, was Dwight, Dwight Howard. Because he played good defense, although he's working on his offense right now. <laughs> he was my favorite player by talking about offense, Offense, I really like Paul Pierce, like his offense, because he's patient and stuff like that. And talking about the defensive stuff, Ben Wallace, Kevin Garnett, I like all of them because they play defense with their heart. Mm -hmm. They don't care if they don't score. Like, they just want to rebound, pass it to someone else to make the bucket, make the extra one. I think that sounds like a coach's dream right there. Uh, now you're going to be a rising sophomore. Are you starting to hear from, from some schools? Uh, recruiting interest wise, uh, you know, who are you looking at? Um, my favorite school I want to go to, uh, I wish I could go to North Carolina. I really love it, or UConn. 
but I've got a lot of schools that, that, that trying to uh, talking about it because I'm only a freshman going to sophomore, so they're not allowed to talk to me. But I've got a couple of like letters and stuff like that, so I'm good with it. And I don't really care. All right, you heard it here from Ben. Uh, for more interviews like this, you can uh, visit hoopgroup.com. Make sure you like us on Facebook. Follow all real-time updates from uh, HD Elite Camp here uh, by following us on Twitter, at The Hoop Group.